Well, hello guys, and uh, welcome back to my channel. As I told you in last week's video, today I'm just going to go over some very basic photo editing techniques. Uh, these are going to be really simple things that will uh, let you really step up the look of your photography without purchasing any expensive editing software, just using stuff that you probably already have on your computer, or your phone, or both. Um, now, the way that I edit these pictures today is not going to be exactly the way that I did in that last video. So if you watch that, I went out to a scenic river in the woods and I just shot a few pretty simple photos and they turned out pretty well. They did not need a lot of complicated editing, um, but I did do some things that were a little bit more precise than what we will look at today. But the things that we're going to look at today will help you to make really great improvements to your landscape photography or any kind of photography that you want to do without spending any money. So let's get into this video. So today we are going to cover six different elements of photo editing. We'll talk about the exposure, the saturation, white balance, contrast, sharpening, and denoising. So these are things that you will be able to find in essentially any photo editor. Um, and so to show you that, I'm going to use the Photos app on my Mac. Uh, so here are the pictures from the last photo shoot. And what I will do first is I will just go through each of the exposures that I got and I'll pick out the one that looks the best. So I don't want to have the shadows being too dark or the highlights being too bright. So here's our first one, second one, and third one. You can see that the middle one has probably the best overall exposure. Now the way to think about exposure is that's essentially how much light is in your photo. On the camera, that's determined by how long the actual sensor is exposed to light. Once you get it onto the computer, it's a little different because you're not exposing a sensor, but it's the same uh, sort of concept of more exposure is a brighter photo. So the first thing that we'll do, just come up here and hit edit in the Photos app. And you can see there's a whole bunch of different editing things that we have available to us here. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these today. I'm just going to focus on the basic ones that you'll probably use most of the time. So right off the bat, at the top here, we have this exposure adjustment. And you can see if I pull it up or down, the photo gets brighter and darker. So what I can do is just pull it over to where I think the photo looks a bit more pleasing. Generally, uh, people like photos that are a bit bright, um, but you don't want it to be so bright that it's shocking and you can't see all the details of it and so forth. Now, uh, if I scroll down just a bit, we've got saturation and vibrance right here. Now, it's important to understand the difference between these two things. Saturation is going to make all of the colors in the photo more colorful. So the bottom end of saturation is black and white, and the top end is lots and lots of color. Vibrance is similar, however, it's just going to apply that added saturation to the more muted colors in the image. So if you've got something in your image that is already super colorful and you saturate the photo more, that thing is going to just look absurd. But if you pull the vibrance up more, you can make everything else in the photo look more colorful without injuring that uh, very colorful already piece. So for this photo, we'll just pull the saturation up a little bit. Photos out of the camera generally are going to look a bit flat and undersaturated unless you've got your camera set on a more saturated setting. Now we don't want to go too far with our saturation and bright vibrance. If we pull it up a lot, it just looks really crazy. We want it to still look natural, but we want it to not be too flat looking. So we can pull it up just a bit like that. Now for the white balance of this photo, that is 
going to be right down here and it, you can see it's labeled as warmth. On the one side you have yellow and on the other side you have blue. And so this just allows us to adjust sort of the yellow blue tone of the photo. As you pull it more toward the yellow side, things will look more yellow and vice versa. And things that are already that sort of shade will uh, appear to be a bit bolder. So what we might do for this is maybe just make it slightly warmer like that. Now, if you wanted a different, more uh, cool cloudy feel, you could also move it the other direction. But I'm just gonna move it a very, very tiny bit because this photo was pretty much spot on for the white balance. Uh, next, we will look at the contrast. Now the contrast is kind of the difference between the brightest and darkest parts of the photograph. So higher contrast is going to make the dark parts really dark and the bright parts really bright and the same, you know, the opposite is true if I drag it the other way. So for this we'll add just a bit of contrast and you're going to add, want to add a little contrast to most of the photos that you take probably depending on your camera. Some cameras may have more contrasting photos by default, but a lot of cameras tend to have a more muted tone so that it gives you more freedom for editing later. And so you'll just want to pull up the contrast a bit and that'll help your photo to look a bit more uh, bold. The next thing that uh, you can do then is just add a little bit of sharpening to it. So if anything um, is a bit soft, this will help sharpen it up. Now, if your picture is blurry, the sharpening tool is not going to make your picture unblurry. You still need to get a good photo, but this will make it look just a bit better, a bit crisper. So for sharpening, we can just use the sharpen section here or we can use the definition section and they just apply, apply the sharpening a little bit differently so we can maybe add a little bit of that as well as a little bit of sharpening from down here. You want to be careful not to over sharpen your photos if you just go all in on the sharpening it's not going to look realistic anymore. Same for pretty much all of these sliders right here. Now how much of any particular thing you apply is a little bit subjective and you'll kind of just want to play with it a little bit, maybe look away, step away for a few minutes and come back and just find a level that looks good to you where it's still somewhat natural but it has a very sort of hyper realistic look to it um, that really will catch people's eye as they look at it. So we can just pull that up a little bit and you can see before things maybe were a bit soft and now they just look a little bit um, sharper. And so uh, here's our before right now. Um, so you can see the colors were a lot more muted there, things weren't quite as gold as they are now, uh, the trees in the center don't look quite as sharp, and the, the greens are a bit uh, gray looking almost. And now after we've gotten this, um, and this is just with free editing software that you probably already have if you have um, a Mac or an iPhone or an iPad and there's similar things on Windows and Android as well. And then the last thing that you might want to do is a bit of noise reduction. Now if you've got um, a, a camera with a smaller sensor, a cheaper camera, maybe your phone, um, or if you've turned your ISO up really high because it was kind of dark, uh, you'll get some grain in your picture. So if I zoom in a lot, you'll start to see it. Um, this particular picture isn't too bad, but like here's some in this leaf right here. There's some small spots right in there, right in there, and you can just use the denoise to uh, get rid of that uh, graininess. So there's this noise reduction slider here and we can pull it up a little bit. Now I don't tend to find that the noise reduction in the default photos app usually works terribly well. Uh, so I generally have to kind of give it a fair amount of denoising 
And then once you do that, you always kind of want to uncheck it and recheck it and make sure that you didn't compromise the sharpness of your photo by denoising it. So there's our original photo right there. Again, very flat. And there's what we've done in just a few minutes with the default photo editor. Uh, so, you know, if you don't want to put a ton of money into a uh, nice editing software, um, as much as I do recommend you get nice editing software, you can really step up your photography just by editing it a little bit on your phone or on the computer. I am a firm believer in photo editing. I think that photos were made to be edited. Um, I think that's how cameras are really designed right now is for you to edit those pictures when you get done with them. So I definitely recommend that you just take a couple of minutes with your photos and try to edit them a little bit, make them look a little nicer. They can be more colorful and less flat with just some basic adjustments like I've showed you right now. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope that helps you guys if you're just starting out in photo editing to have an idea of what you might be going for and um, what adjustments to start off making to your photos. So uh, with that, thank you guys as always so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and to subscribe to my channel. That'll really help the channel to grow and the algorithm to uh, pick it up and uh, so I will see you in the next video.